Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this part of the video, we're going to take a look at how to work the UI, um, the little software that comes with the GX Gaming Mouse, the Gila uh, by Genius. So, of course, the uh, the software here is almost just like the Manticore software in that you have your light options, you have three different areas for lighting, you can set them to just about anything you want. You just choose it over here. You can set it using numbers or just picking, you know, a section of color here. If you want, you know, whatever color you want, you just click in it. Or if you want more basic colors, standardized colors here, you can do that. And then just hit apply. And, you know, it loads up and saves it for a second. And then the front of the mouse changes. Now I gotta admit that brown doesn't look very brown but uh, all the other colors are really really accurate for the most part um, some of the more popular choices are gonna be really clear that purple looks great I can tell you that much I like it a lot actually um, and then of course you can change the intensity you can turn it off if you want you can turn them you know high medium and low pretty basic and you can set them to pulsate steady slow middle or fast uh, you know pretty obvious settings there as far as that goes um, the only other thing to really look at is creating a macro no I take it back uh, advanced settings has some good options to do of course one of the main things is going to be setting your DPI for different profiles. Um, a lot of this other stuff I think is going to remain pretty much the same. Um, you know, if you turn, geez, if you turn the mouse speed down, then hit apply, let it load up. You can see the difference here. It, it's hard to show you in the video because of course you can't see the mouse in relationship or in relation to the uh, you know mouse pointer but I assure you it is being affected quite a lot and I can't seem to grab that little what the heck there we go so I'm going to crank that back up there we go well and I mean you know you can see the difference there I'm barely moving the mouse um, so that's funny because to me the mouse speed almost feels like it does the same thing as the DPI but uh, I think we all know it does not exactly do the same thing in that the DPI and it's so fast now I can't even hardly control it uh, I'm literally I'm moving it a few millimeters on my mouse pad and it's jumping all over the place so again DPI is your dots per inch you know that's uh, an actual scale of of how far the mouse moves and see that puts it right back down there and either way it, it, you can set it for anything you want you can I, I like to keep it around 4,000 and uh, to me that's pretty perfect but I'm gonna have to set this back down to something reasonable and I should have done that before I hit apply either way as soon as that's done we'll go take a look at creating a macro and how to assign that macro to the different buttons and stuff pretty simple setup here you go into the macro you hit new you give it a name let's say you're playing World of Warcraft or something um, hit OK now you have a macro named WoW you can change the delay for a standard whatever you can put it in there as you see fit um, or you can choose to insert default delays uh, what that does for example if I tell it to record and I come over here and I press 1 it doesn't matter how fast I press 1 and let it go it defaults to the 20 milliseconds right well let's stop that make new we're going to name it basically the same but with caps so it doesn't get confused oh it's still confused 
Um, wow, two then. Who cares? All right. So we'll turn off the default, and you'll see when I press the one, however long I hold it down, and it counts out the actual amount of time. So I can press it fast. See the space between there? I can press it really fast, and it doesn't even know. Or I can hold it and you can see it, it keeps the timing right so and that's how you create a macro of course you probably won't just use one you'll create actual macros using different spells and different abilities from the different characters from your games and then once you have your macros you can go over here to the assigned buttons and you've got um, you know all the extra buttons that I showed you earlier the two on the left side two on the right side two on the left thumb and then two in the middle underneath the scroll wheel uh, and those are all indicated here and they have the lines showing which one is which so let's say for example you want to put one of those macros right here next to your index finger you go down here to macro choose it and just pick which one you want and there that's it you can do repeat times you can make it just repeat as long as you hold it um, apparently maybe a thousand or four digits is max so yeah four digits is max so I mean I guess theoretically you could go 9,999 times but we're not going to do that today uh, so that's it pretty basic rundown really simple software to use simple software to install of course you just put the disk in your optical drive uh, install and run and uh, then you're set up and you're good to go and of course you do have multiple profiles for multiple games and again with the color options you can set different colors so that you can tell at a glance which profile you're in um, and so that you'll know which game you're ready to play, which buttons are assigned for what, and uh, which macros you have available. Um, again, in the advanced settings, you do have a few other options. You can turn up your sensitivity. You know, you can change your polling rates. Uh, you can change the amount of lines that it scrolls for each click of the wheel. This wheel does click uh, into position as you scroll up or down and so you can set that to one line each or you know it's normally pretty standard three lines or you could go ten lines which would be you know almost paragraph uh, it's just everything you might want is just uh, up to you and up to your own preference and I really do like that I say that's a big big plus for uh, Genius and their GX gaming line of uh, you know gaming gear especially the Gila and the Manticore all the software is great and easy to use. I thank you for watching.